Hi everyone, Kat Lewis here. I hope you're all having a good day and I hope it's about to get even better because I have three human resources jobs that are just a little bit above entry level. So we're not considering these jobs to be entry level because they are asking for just a little bit of experience. So if you have some knowledge or some experience in human resources, these jobs are for you. So we're gonna get into the details on these jobs, but I wanna quickly remind you, so you don't miss any job leads when I post them, consider subscribing to this channel and be sure to turn on all notifications. That way you'll be among the first in line to apply for one of these jobs. So the first position I have comes to us from Western Governors University. They're looking for a people and talent HR, people support specialist level two. This is a full-time remote position and this job was just posted today. They'll pay between $21.87 and $31.68 per hour, and of course that depends on your skill sets, experience, and any kind of training that you have. So I'm gonna consider this job just a little bit above entry level because they do want you to have two to four years of human resources experience. They prefer you have a bachelor's degree, but that's only preferred, it's not required. So with this two to four years experience, if you don't quite have that much experience, but you are definitely interested in doing HR, and maybe you have a little bit of experience, still apply for this job. Don't let that two to four years requirement stop you. They do require you have a high school diploma, you're a great communicator, and you do have experience entering and maintaining data within computer systems. You need to be proficient with Microsoft Office products and you have a knowledge of help desk, including help desk support software such as ServiceNow. So they're only preferring you have a bachelor's degree, preferred, not required, and they prefer you have a general knowledge of benefits, compensation, payroll, and talent acquisition processes. And they prefer you have HR related certification or degree, or you can demonstrate progress towards getting those things. They also prefer you have ServiceNow or Workday experience. Now, because they're only preferring, not requiring these things, that's another reason why I'm considering this to be more of an entry-level kind of job. So in this role, you'll be onboarding new employees, completing all essential tasks, post-offer acceptance through day one and beyond. You'll provide impeccable service and support through accurate and timely responses to employees' P&T related questions. You'll also perform actions related to employees' work and life events in accordance with establishing training and procedures. You'll process unemployment claims, conduct verification of employment, do some data reconciliation, collaborate with P&T People Center team members, write, read, and interpret technical HR materials. You'll participate in ongoing training around effectively responding to employee inquiries, core subjects across P&T, and the use of case management tools and people systems. So in case you're wondering, I referenced P&T a few times in this job description, and that stands for People and Talent. You'll also process routine system transactions, perform all tasks and duties in accordance with established service levels, suggest opportunities for process improvements, consistently apply strong analytical orientations, effectively model WGU's leadership principles, maintain confidentiality at all times, and promote continuous improvement. So they're looking for someone who has the ability to work both independently as well as with a team. You have the ability to manage and prioritize your work. You're a collaborative self-starter, you're detail-oriented, and you have a strong work ethic. They'd also like you to have the ability to recognize possible root causes, identify drivers of outcomes, and recommend improvements. You should be able to demonstrate strong proficiency in Microsoft Office products, and you have the ability to develop a working knowledge of human resources, trends, laws, and regulations. So that's the first position. If this one interests you, check out the link in the description below this video for job number one. And remember, this one pays between $21.87 and $31.68 per hour. The second HR position I have comes to us from Canonical, and I have profiled this company on this channel before. They're the creators of the Ubuntu operating system. So today they're looking for a junior HR generalist, and they are hiring anyone located in the Americas or Europe, Middle East, Africa. And this job is a full-time remote position. So in this role, you'll bring an exceptional academic track record coupled with some experience working in an entry-level role in the HR or people team. You'll bring some existing knowledge of employment law. Ideally, they're looking for someone who has an inherent interest in the technology sector, specifically open source. So I'm considering this job to be just a little bit above entry level because they're not really asking for a whole lot, but they would like you to have just a little bit of HR knowledge. They'd like you to have an exceptional academic track record from both high school and preferably a university, so they're not requiring a degree. And they tell us it's beneficial if you have experience working in an entry-level HR role. 
And of course, you need excellent written and verbal communication skills and you're able to prioritize your work. And you have a high level of honesty, integrity, and the ability to handle confidential data. You're flexible and easily adaptable to change and you're willing to take the initiative and you're ambitious and you wanna grow in your HR career. And something I find interesting right here, you need to have the willingness to travel up to four times a year for internal events. So in this role, you'll provide HR support by answering team members' questions and responding to requests regarding their employment and contracts, escalating when necessary. So some of those questions and requests might pertain to the onboarding process, benefits, employment verifications, and other general inquiries. You'll also maintain the HRIS system, ensuring a high degree of accuracy. You'll own the global projects such as engagement, training, or culture initiatives. You'll partner with managers and employees supporting the HR processes. You'll work as a truly global partner to colleagues, especially leads, managers, and executives. You'll process new hires, including country-specific onboarding documentation, creation of files, system setup, and coordination of introductory reviews. You'll also provide support to employees for the enrollment and processing of benefits and the payroll process. You'll be the liaison with payroll to guarantee smooth salary payments, create purchase orders for internal departments, provide administrative support to employees for the enrollment and processing of benefits, and conduct and manage global background checks. Unfortunately, they don't tell us how much they pay in this job, so I had to do a little bit of research. Looking at their profile on Glassdoor, they do indicate the salary for some human resource positions. Unfortunately though, they don't have a salary listed for a human resources generalist, but taking a look here, we see they are a pretty good payer. So doing a little bit more research, it looks like the salary for an HR generalist ranges anywhere from $63,000 to $69,000 per year. And that's between $30 and $33 per hour, but there's no way I can guarantee that's how much you'll make. You'll have to work that out with them when negotiating your salary. So if this one interests you, check out the link in the description below this video for job number two. The third and final HR position I have comes to us from Seamless. They're a search engine company that help businesses find sales leads. So they're hiring a human resource generalist. This is a remote position anywhere in the United States and I'm looking for the salary. They don't tell us how much they pay in this job so I had to do some research on that. So I took a look at their profile on Glassdoor and they don't indicate the salary for a human resource generalist. They have quite a few other human resource related positions and they do seem to pay quite well. And like the position we just spoke about, the salary for an HR generalist could be anywhere from $63,000 to $69,000 per year, which comes to between $30 and $33 per hour. There's absolutely no way I can guarantee that's how much you'll make, but because this company does seem to pay well, you stand a really good chance of making on the higher end of that range. As a human resource generalist at Seamless, you will provide internal support and partnership to the HR team. You respond to various information and data requests from internal and external partners in a timely manner, answering questions regarding policies, processes, and other pertinent HR information. You'll assist with company benefit administration, which includes enrollment forms, plan questions, and open enrollment. You'll also document and maintain administrative procedures for assigned benefits processes, provide support to employees, and develop communication tools to enhance understanding of the company's benefits package. You'll insist with employee onboarding and new hire paperwork, create and maintain complete and confidential personnel files on each employee, establish and maintain department records and reports, recommend new approaches, policies, and procedures to affect continual improvements in efficiency and services performed. You'll also analyze internal employee data to identify trends and create and maintain a variety of visual data displays, including charts and graphs, as well as PowerPoint presentations. So they're not asking for a whole lot of experience in this job. I'm gonna consider this to be just a little bit above entry level because they do want you to have a bachelor's degree in human resource management or related field, as well as two years of related experience. They'd also like you to have a working knowledge of multiple human resource disciplines, including compensation practices, and they'd like you to have benefit knowledge and experience, including traditional medical, dental, vision, 401k, et cetera. As far as skills, you should be able to demonstrate success in building internal trust and strong relationships with business partners. You're analytical and you have problem solving skills and you're comfortable using Excel and PowerPoint or similar products. Experience with Google Workspace is a must. They'd like you to have experience working in HRIS and it's a plus if you have experience with Rippling. You need experience working in a startup environment and you have no problem working in a remote team environment. And you should have a thorough knowledge of benefit plan design. You're able to work independently and you can maintain confidentiality at all times. 
And of course, I'd like you to have a thorough knowledge of HR principles and federal and local regulations, and you're a multitasker and you're able to prioritize your work in a fast-paced environment. So if this one interests you, check out the link in the description for job number three. Well, there you go, three human resources positions that are just a little bit above entry level. If you don't quite have all the experience these companies are asking for, don't let that scare you away. If you're still interested, apply for these jobs. Because you know what? Employers know not everybody meets all the requirements. So good luck to all of you who apply. I hope at least one of these is the right one for you. And as always, thank you so, so much for visiting, and I'll meet you on the next job lead.